I asked almost 600 readers about their favorite reads of 2022, and I now have the list over the top 20 most read fantasy, sci-fi, and horror authors in 2022. Now, this will be a two video part series. This video will highlight which authors are the most popular according to 600 readers, and the next video, which I'm hoping to post sometimes before 2023, will highlight which are the most popular books in 2022. So basically, I just went through 600 columns of data and analyzed which authors were mentioned the most, and this is the list or the top 20 most popular authors of 2022. All right, let's get into the top 20. Since there were three authors on the top 18 spot, we will start not with number 20, but number 18. All right, I ranked number 18 with a total of seven mentions. We have three authors. Also, so I do apologize about my voice. I have had this cold for ages and it just won't go away. All right, at spot number 18, firstly, we have Patrick Rothfuss, the author of The King Killer Chronicle. While The King Killer Chronicle is an incredibly popular series, it is no surprise that Rothfuss isn't higher considering he hasn't published anything in 10 years. But a big surprise is that on the same spot, we have the legendary J.R.R. Tolkien with a total of seven mentions as well. Obviously, it's been nearly 50 years since Tolkien passed away, but considering that the Lord of the Rings and the Middle-earth universe as a whole is arguably the greatest fantasy series ever, I definitely did expect to see Tolkien ranked a bit higher. And also on the 18th spot, we have Sir Terry Pratchett, the legendary author of Discworld. Now, no surprise that Pratchett is ranked in the top 20, considering Discworld is one, if not the greatest, absurdist fantasy series ever written. Okay, before I continue this video, I need to tell you about one thing that has literally leveled up the way I manage my workspace. For the past couple of years, I've been sitting at this tiny desk whenever I've been editing or working on university assignments, and I have been wanting to operate my desk for so long. That's why I was so excited when FlexiSpot, the sponsor of this video, contacted me and asked if they could send me a standing desk. Now, I've been using this desk now for one week, and it is fantastic. The design is very sleek, it looks nice, and feels feels high quality and there are lots of different shapes and colors you can choose from on their website. Also, the desk was surprisingly easy to assemble and the most important part, you can adjust the height. I mean, I literally almost never sit down anymore when editing because I love standing while working. So getting this table has really allowed me to take working from home to the next level. And the fortune news is that Flexispot currently has a Christmas sale where you can get up to 33% discount on lots of their products, including the Flexispot standing desk E5 which I'm using right now. Now I will leave a link in the description down below so please make sure to check it out if you're interested and a special thanks to Flexispot for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video. Now moving on to spot number 16 we have two authors and also the first self-published author which is pretty exciting. Firstly with a total of eight mentions we have ML Wong the author of The Sword of Kagan, one of my all-time favorite standalones. It is so great to see that people are still picking of The Sword of Kagan and loving it as much as I did. The Sword of Kagan is one of those books that analyzes the theme of warfare, loss and grief in such an impactful way and the world building is incredibly unique. Now I don't see many fantasy readers pick up The Sword of Kagan and not enjoy it. It is a fantastic novel. The other author ranked number 16 is the incredibly popular author of the Red Rising Saga Pierce Brown. Now, I do feel ashamed that I still haven't picked up the Red Rising Saga. I really want to try to get more into sci-fi and people have again and again recommended picking up the Red Rising series. Also, I even own the first three books, so there's literally no excuse. Definitely a series I need to start sometimes in 2023. On spot number 14, we have two authors again with a total of nine mentions. First up, we have one of, if not the greatest horror novelist ever, Stephen King. Now, I definitely expected to see King rank in the top 20, but honestly, it does surprise me a bit that he isn't ranked higher. Considering how many adaptations and books Stephen King has published and sold, I definitely expected to see King ranked at least in the top 10. I suppose most readers who filled out this form are more focused on fantasy, which is probably why King wasn't ranked as high. But yes, Stephen King is one of my all-time favorite authors and one of the reasons why I got back into reading, so I'm really glad to see him on this list. 
Now also on the spot number 14, we have the legendary Steven Erikson, the author of the Malassan Book of the Fallen. One of the most epic, complex and ambitious series ever written, and a series that is praised for its incredible world building. While Erikson books are definitely not for everyone, the readers who do love his work really do love his work. Now I did try and read Malassan 18 months ago, and unfortunately I just couldn't get into it due to the sheer complexity of it, and me having a difficult time relating to the characters, but I could definitely see myself get back to it someday. Now, if you want my full thoughts on Malassan, I've actually made a full video talking about it. Alright, moving on to spot number 13, with a total of 10 mentions, we have one of the rising stars in the fantasy community, Ken Liu, the author of the Dandelion Dynasty and the Paper Menagerie and other books. More and more people are starting to pick up Dandelion Dynasty and people generally fall in love with this series. While most people actually believe that the Dandelion Dynasty is an Asian inspired series, this is actually an American inspired fantasy story. I chatted with Ken Liu last month for my monthly Patreon interview and he stated that he didn't know why people kept calling the Dandelion Dynasty an Asian inspired series. <laughs> now I haven't read this one yet but it's definitely a series I want to get to sometimes in 2023. On spot number 11 we have two authors with a total of 11 mentions and these are also rising stars in the fantasy community. Firstly we have no other than Travis Baldry who literally published his first book this year, Legends and Latte. This book has been everywhere and the hype for it is real and I totally get why. Legends of Latte is a cozy fantasy story that will give you all the warm feelings and it's a great read for anyone looking for something refreshing to the genre. Also, I just published this month's Patreon's interview which was literally with Charles Baldry. If you want to check that out or the interview with Ken Liu then you can access it in the link in the description down below. Now the other author on spot number 11 is the rising star in the self-publishing community, Ryan Cahill, the author of the Bound of the Broken series. Now I am so glad to see Ryan on this list. The Bound of the Broken series series is one of my favorite ongoing series and each book in the series just gets better and better. Now if you're looking for someone who writes similarly to John Gwynn and a series that feels classic but has that modern voice, the Bound and the Broken series is for you. It's a brilliant, brilliant series. Now moving on to spot number 8, we have three authors ranked with a total of 12 mentions. Firstly, we have Robert Jordan, the author of The Wheel of Time. Now this made me so happy since I am a huge fan of The Wheel of Time. I am so glad to see that this 14 book epic series is still getting so much love in the fantasy community. Yes, this is a series that has a lot of issues, but it also has some of the best moments I have ever come across in fantasy literature. If you haven't read The Wheel of Time yet, I can definitely recommend it. The second author ranked on spot number 8 is Susanna Clarke, the author of Pyronesi and Jonathan Strange and Miss Norell. Now Pyronesi is one of my favorite reads of 2022, so I'm so glad to see Susanna Clarke mentioned here. Pyronesi is just such a unique story with beautiful writing, great atmosphere, and it also analyzes some really interesting themes. Now I definitely need to give Jonathan Strange and Miss Norell a read as well, a book I have heard a lot of great things about. And the third author ranked number 8 is Jay Kristoff, the author of a bunch of books, but arguably best known for in 2022 for The Empire of the Vampire, a book I love. I really feel that Kristoff actually made vampires scary again in this book, which I was so happy to see. While the writing style will definitely not be for everyone since it's written in a very sarcastic and over-the-top kind of way. I loved it. It is gritty, bloody and has this creepy atmosphere which I loved. I'm starting to lose my voice here. <laughs> Moving on to rank number 7 with a total of 14 mentions, we have the legendary sci-fi author Andy Weir, most known for The Martian and Project Hail Mary. Now, I have no doubts that the reason why Andy Weir is on this list is due to the popularity of Project Hail Mary, one of my all-time favorite science fiction books. Project Hail Mary is so brilliant and it's a perfect read for anyone looking to get into sci-fi since it's a very character-driven novel that isn't too heavy on the science. Also, Rocky and an amazing character that you just need to experience. On spot number 6, with a total of 15 mentions, we have one of my all-time favorite authors, the queen of fantasy, Robin Hobb, the legendary author of the Realms of the Elderlings. Now, I have read the Farsi trilogy and the Lifeship Trader trilogy, and both are absolutely exceptional series. Hobb's writing is so beautiful, and she is one of the best authors in the fantasy genre when it comes to writing characters. Hobb's character work is 
unrivaled and I'm so glad to see that people have been reading and loving her books in 2022. So if you're looking for a slow paced character driven story that might make you cry check out The Realm of the Elderlings. Now we're moving into the top 5 most popular authors of 2022 and it's getting interesting. On rank number 5 with a total of 23 mentions we have the amazing RF Kuang, the author of the Poppy War series and more recently Babel. Now it's no surprise that RF Kuang is on this list considering how popular Babel has been. I mean that book has been everywhere on my social media timelines and has received like 8 special editions or something crazy. Now I read Babel a couple of months ago and I loved it. It's a brilliant dark academia historical fantasy that has amazing characters and themes. If you're looking for a standalone novel with dark academia vibes then check out Babel. It is Brilliant. Now moving on to this third spot, we have two authors with a total of 29 mentions. And both of these authors are some of my all-time favorite authors. Firstly, we have Joe Abercrombie, most known for his Grimdark series, The First Law. Now, if you're even slightly interested in Grimdark, then you will know who Abercrombie is. The First Law series is a 10-book Grimdark series split into two trilogies, three standalones, and one short, short story collection. And they are brilliant. Abercrombie has such a distinct voice, and his characters are some of the most vivid and best realized out there. And that is really why people love Abercrombie. His ability to write characters is some of the best out there. Now also on the third spot with 29 mentions, we have Fonda Lee, the author of the Greenbone Saga, one of my all time favorite series. Now Jade Legacy, the third book in the series is definitely one of my all time favorite books. It is that good. Now the Greenbone Saga is a modern and Asian inspired series that has very strong Godfather vibes where you have these different clans fighting over this drug called Jade. Now Fonda Lee's ability to write such an epic story that spans over more than a decade while simultaneously making the reader so invested in all the characters is simply astounding. Also this series just feels like it's bringing something new to the table which I love. Now I know this series gets a lot of hype but I definitely think it deserves it. Now on spot number two we have a big surprise. No, it's not George R. R. Martin or Scott Lynch or Phil Pullman. We have a booktube darling and one of my favorite authors John Gwynn. John Gwynn is the author of the Banished Land series and more recently the Bloodsworn Saga. Now I have read all 9 books published by John Gwynn and I'm definitely a huge fan and I'm so glad to see that Gwynn is getting the recognition he deserves. Now while I'm a huge fan of the Banished Lands, Gwynn's ongoing series, the Bloodsworn Saga, is in my opinion his strongest writing to date. It is just so, so good. Now, I definitely didn't expect to see Gwyn being this popular in 2022, but I'm so glad to see him ranked number two. And then on spot number one, with a staggering 66 mentions, which is more than 10% of all the data I collected, and you know who this will be. It's Brandon Sanderson, obviously. Everyone is reading Sanderson's books and almost everyone is loving his books, especially the Cosmere universe he's crafting. I am nearly caught up with all the Sanderson's books in the Cosmere and I definitely get why readers are a big fan of his. Sanderson's writing style is accessible, the characters are brilliant and the world building is always one of the highlights of his books. So that is it. Which author do you think is missing from this list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and also make sure to check out Flexispot if you're interested. And as always, thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to my patrons.